Hey man, he brought Ben Bilal. Come back at you with another edition of this Boomer's Logic, man. Um, today I want to talk to you about the Taliban. I want to talk to you about the Taliban, and I want to talk to you about uh, black women. Um, but before we do, um, if you haven't already, go to the channel Boomer's Logic. Um, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Um, getting ready to start dropping, as as I have been dropping more content more frequently. Of course, a lot of things are going on that I want to keep you abreast of. Um, if you haven't told anybody, man, pass this along. Tell them to jump on board with us, man, because we like breaking bread, having fun, having a good time on this channel. Um, start to drop some comments in the uh, sec comment section below, man. And for those of you who have been doing it, man, I appreciate it. Um, uh, my cousin uh, Tony out there in Texas, man. Uh, my daughter Kayla, man, I appreciate all your comments, all your feedback. Um even if you disagree, man, put it down there and we can chop it up on that tip. Man, uh, for my partner Chad, man, for my partner Jack Jack, man, um, I definitely will get back um, to y'all in regard to the uh, things that y'all dropped in my messenger that y'all wanted me to hit on, especially yours, Jack Jack. I'll be doing that um, first thing in the morning because I had this on deck. And I wanted to talk in regard to the Taliban and what's going on with them over there in the Middle East or something, like I say, something I seen yesterday on the newscast um so anyway i seen a newscaster my wife had, had called me after the whole taliban thing after everything uh jumped off and she was telling me about you know i was i was out you know doing my thing yesterday and she was telling me about hey listen you gotta come home you gotta see this and, a, and i'm not gonna get into the political aspect of it why they did it why they were over there all that type of stuff so i have my own opinion of that but um i know for a fact <laughs> when I came home and watched the video that my, my wife wanted me to watch and seen it, um, I said, okay, all right, yeah, uh, the Taliban getting ready to put things in order. I think that's what they call it, the Taliban, whatever. They're getting ready to put their house in order. You know what I'm saying? This, this is their spot, this is their land. You know what I'm saying? They're getting ready to put their house in order. You know what I'm saying? So uh, so my wife was like, yeah, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So um, kind of went from there. And I just kept watching different newscasts, and then it was a newscaster who spoke on the the fact that they don't see any women um, anywhere, and they were showing like little news clippings, little segments. I don't know if it was any women on the street or not, but they showed that there was no women um, anywhere, out anywhere, um, like they generally were. I guess when the, the military was there, they they went over to a little clip that they had and they were speaking to to this lady. I guess they were in the lady's house or something. And uh, the lady was explaining how, you know, the freedoms that they had when the, when the military was there and they could do stuff and, you know, they could go outside with their head uncovered. And I guess the lady was like 50 years old and she was saying, speaking to the fact that it was liberating that she could go outside with her head uncovered and she just felt, you know, I, I could do, you know, basically pretty much she could do as she pleased. Um, and it was a liberating thing. And now they're back under the constraints of Sharia law. And to the extreme end, where, you know, they got to be garbed up, wear their burqas, they got to do all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that's a part of their society. That's a part of their culture. You know what I'm saying? And this is what goes on, whether you like it or not. And there is restraints put in place for, for a reason. And hence what the woman said in regard to uh, how she felt about uh, being put back underneath these constraints, which, you know, when the, when the United States was here and blah, 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 and they was talking about how they're concerned about the women not being able to be a part of uh, politics anymore. And this is, what, this is what the white newscasters was talking about, how they were um, not able to be a part of uh, politics anymore and now women had to step down from their political because these guys came in and said, hey, man, y'all need to go and sit down somewhere. Um, and they took over everything, and now the women, they're not able to go to school and learn the same things that they were learning, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to give you an example. of, And, and you can sit here and say, oh, man, Ebron, you tough, man. I'm, I'm going to give you an example of why these type of constraints are important. See, Torah, you got to understand where Islam derives from. Islam derives from the Torah. So how women are to cover up, they they take it to a whole nother level but um he hebrew women cover up as well um they dress modestly um 
they conduct themselves in a certain fashion. They're not in the front. Um, you know, they don't they don't have to stay at home. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to be stay at home moms. You see a lot of Hebrews is working. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they do understand their position in, in society, as well as the men understand their position in the community and in, in society. Um, in, in regard to Hebrew communities, they are male dominated. Period. Period. Ain't no ifs ands or buts about it. It's, it's the men first. Then it's the women, then it's the children, in that order. And this is what the United States is is, is uh, complaining about. Well, the, the newscasters are complaining that now the women, they, they can't come outside, they can't do this, they can't do that. Well, until them, until them cats get everything situated and organized over there, you know what I'm saying, uh, it, it pretty much probably needs to be like that. And I'm going to show you why. I was watching these these particular videos the other day, right? I was watching some news feeds the other day, and I ran across this one, and it's going to look real familiar to you, this one that's on the screen right now. But I'm going to take you to one that previously happened and fast forward to one that just recently occurred. Now, I had I had uploaded, had my wife upload these probably about a week and a half ago, and I was going to shoot the video, but we, we've we been extremely busy. Y'all understand the situation with my grandbabies. I still ain't even read done the day back here yet but my wife is on me so I gotta redo it tomorrow because she said I don't want you to keep shooting videos and all that in the background and the house look mess so we're gonna fix it but I wanna show y'all the reason that women especially Hebrew women now I don't know nothing about middle women in the Middle East I don't know nothing about white women I keep telling you something but I do understand about the ones y'all call black that are Hebrews, without the restraints of a man. This is this is how you you all will conduct yourself without fail. So first, let's get this understood. This was the situation that occurred in Chicago. I did a video about that before. So fast forward, I think it's some months later. Some months later, you, you have the monkey see, monkey do mentality that resides within our communities. You had this monkey see, monkey do mentality that runs rampant, especially against uh, amongst these quote-unquote liberated black women who can do whatever they choose, and if you say anything against it, you know what I'm saying? You're shamed, you 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 demonized, you you're male chauvinist, you you this, you that, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, you're threatened, your livelihood is threatened to be taken away. You know, you can't even speak out. I, I, I recall the whole situation with Monique, I think her name was, when she was encouraging sisters to do better, and they just lashed out at her. Because if you say anything about this particular behavior, then you're gonna be demonized. So let's get to the next video because I'm gonna show you why it's important to keep and, and and you can and you can say what you choose to you got to keep your foot on the neck of black women because if you don't and they see it and they understand that they can do it too it's monkey see monkey do because as soon as them girls did that guess what happened Responded or handled this incident, Police Chief James White says the officer in question did not have a lot of options. Video of a woman using the top of a police vehicle as a dance floor is making well, waves on social media. Some questioning why DPD did not arrest her. What's frustrating for me is to, to read that the officers didn't do anything. Okay, well, 
they did exactly what we're asking them to do, practice restraint. Interim Police Chief James White addressing the situation during a press conference Monday. Video of the incident was posted to Facebook over the weekend. Not only was there a woman on top of the car, there was another dancing in front of it. All of it, according to White, happening at a party on the city's east side with a few hundred people in attendance. Chief White says DPD's crowd management teams were there keeping an eye on things when a large crowd surrounded the yeah. Now, before we go any further, I want you to pay attention to what's getting ready to happen next. First, this is this is just this is disgusting. And then you got these these uh, men, these oh excuse me, these young males standing around. You know what I'm saying, encouraging this behavior. And this is once again one of the reasons why black women do the things that they do because there's no accountability. And then you got people like these who stand there and encourage that behavior. See, but the thing you got to understand is nobody's over them. They don't want, and I'm talking about the young men right now, they don't want anybody over top of them, nor do the young women. The women don't want anybody over top of them because we can do whatever the hell we want to do without any checks and balances. So as long as they got these weak, spineless young men who lack direction, Pushing them and, and hey yeah go ahead yeah do do that thing instead of saying hey man get down off that off that vehicle and take your tail home looking like that this this is not being done now do understand we had lewd activity when we were younger but it was never to this degree you never seen it in the streets of course you had free Nick and you had those particular, these were isolated situations but these situations go on as you can see on the daily parks. I think I showed y'all a video where they was where they was doing this in the park. I mean, they was literally uh, had the poles, pole dancing in the park, all that type of stuff. And this is the type of behavior that will be exhibited with, from a woman who does not have a male over them. So we take it back to the Taliban. How did I tie this all into the Taliban? Because the first thing they did was went in and told all them women go in the house. And then you it, then I told you exactly what the woman said. She said when, when, the go, when the United States government came in, she was able to do things she was never able to do before. She was in her 50s. I was able to do things I was never able to do before. I, I, I could go out there. If you want those type of freedoms, go somewhere where you can have those type of freedoms. That ain't how they rock over there. But see, y'all want your cake and you want to eat it too with no, uh, uh, no consequences behind it. But see, when you got men that's over top of you, there's going to be consequences to your actions. That's why when these cats went in and took over, took back over, said, "Hey, and, and if you ever if if you seen any of their press conferences, the first thing they address the the uh, the Taliban they address that the first thing they talk about is that they got the abusers out the United States. They got them out. They're gone, and they took all the flags down, anything, and they let the United States. Hey, y'all come get your people." And what they did was they created a divide between the United States, all visitors, whoever wasn't there, whoever wasn't supposed to be there, you had the ability to leave. And everybody else was on the other side. And you couldn't go nowhere. You couldn't go nowhere. So now you got men back in, in position. Now everybody, oh, we want to be able to do what we want to leave. Leave then. Because, see, this, this is what you do with your freedoms. This right here. This is exactly what black people do with their freedoms especially when they don't have authority over them. this is it now what i want you to pay attention to is this idiocy that this girl getting ready to say now this is another female opening her mouth and this is why i say female voices has become too loud number one and number two everybody shouldn't be able to open their mouth and speak at all SUV. Had they drove off with this young lady on the hood of the car, on the, on the very top of the vehicle, dancing, had they drove off and she rolled off the car and was injured, then I would be asking the question, you know, did, did, was that the right decision to make? Chief White says there were no... So if, if he would have drove off, first thing you'd have was Black Lives Matter down there talking about uh, uh, Black Lives Matter. First thing y'all would have been screaming, she wasn't doing nothing wrong. They just did it and they did that to her. This is the type of conduct and behavior y'all want to, uh, uh, you know, uh, consume yourself with. 
You just want to be just a, just a deviant and mischievous and all the time you want to be in some type of just and then you don't want any consequences. None. If he would have jumped out, took him to jail, they, they would have been wrong. Or they would just have some fun. No easy answers in that situation. The people we talked with were stunned. Totally unacceptable. Because you can get away with anything in Detroit. Anything. I look at it like this. The cops are working. You know, they're providing for us. They're trying to make us safe. But at the end of the day, they had a good show. Officers, we talked. Hold on. I want, you to, I want you to listen to that again. And see, this is why I say everybody shouldn't be able to speak. And this is why women should be made to, to, to keep their mouths shut. 95% of the time you should be made to keep your mouth shut because this is what you do. This is what you use your mouth for right here. This is what you use. This is what 95% of y'all use your mouth for. Start working. You know, they're providing for us. They're trying to make us safe. But at the end of the day, they had a good show. Officers we talked with who wish to remain a not. They had a good show. See, this, this is why. This is why. I don't when when I heard about what the Taliban did and when they were when they were saying what they were saying on the news about the older oh, women and they made them go in the house. Because see, here's the problem. Because you got this. You have people like her who says stuff like that about this. So you just shove them all in the house and then you just filter through afterwards and you get it figured out. You get it figured out. It's like going on lockdown. Lock them all down and we'll figure it out as we go along. And this is the reason that there needs to be a proverbial foot put on the neck of them. See, I'm, I'm going to refer back once again to the Hebraic communities. You ain't never going to see this. Ever. This is why I say monkey see, monkey do. This one's in Detroit. The other one is in Chicago. They seen this. This is what they, they saw this. The ones in Detroit saw this. Or vice versa. Which, whichever one came out first. Whichever one happened first. One person seen it first. One person did it. The other person seen it and went immediately to emulate it. And it was another video where they was on top of the ambulance doing this same stuff. This is monkey see, monkey do behavior. And this is why I say if there's no men over top of black women, this is how you will conduct yourself. You show it every day. Every day, without fail, without fail, man, don't point over there to Karen and Becky and Tammy. I don't care. Every day, without fail, black women will step up to the plate and do something idiotic. Without fail, this is because without the leadership in place, oh, we want our freedom. We won't be able to do whatever we want to do. This is what you do. Right here. Call me, call me a male chauvinist. Call me with you. But you sit there and you complain about your condition. You complain about how people view you. You complain about the lack of respect. You complain about this. You complain about that. Why the hell do you think nobody respects you? Why do you think you can't travel abroad and get any respect? Why do you think people don't want you in their country? Why do you think your neighborhoods look the way they do? Why do you think people don't invest with you? Why do you think people don't come in and try to, uh, uh, only thing they'll do is establish business because they know that you, spook, that you spend two trillion. I think last year I was listening to, listening to a, a radio uh, uh, thing and I think they said that in Atlanta alone, in Atlanta alone they spent a hundred billion dollars. I think if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And this is why the only reason they come and build and open gas stations and stores in your community because they know you're going to spend. They don't try to interact with you. They don't try to go into business with you. They don't try to come into any type of understanding with you. The most they'll do is hire you in the stores to be labor, to show the others, oh, look, we're, 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 we're with you. We're you. No, they're doing it just to keep you monkeys or your apes at bay because this is how you act. This is how you act. So the next time... uh. You know, you, you got any questions about why people treat you the way they treat you, why they see you the way they see you, why you get 
called the names you get called all you gotta do is refer to this video because this is what you do this is what you do and you want somebody to think of you some way differently this is why I said when I heard what the Taliban did with those women over there they understood the freedoms that these women had and they had to be put back in line they had to be reprogrammed take your butt now they had to be reprogrammed because they understand the virus that this country is and they understood the mindset and the ideologies and all this stuff that was going to be placed in the heads and in the hearts of these people so they had to go over there and say nah y'all ain't doing none of that it's what you do with freedom right here so do it which you will every time one of y'all see somebody do something stupid and you see that that person didn't get checked, first thing you do is run out and emulate that behavior because you want likes, you want views, you want to tell your girls, girl, look what I did. As soon as somebody tell you about it, I'm telling you, the only way y'all going to get grips, but I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to share this with you, then I'm going to shut it down. You got, you got something coming down the pipe for you right now. You got something coming down the pipe for you, and I've been telling y'all about how these stores are looking and all this stuff. You black women got something coming down the pipe for you. And, and this next, let's say 60 days to about 10 to 12 months, we're going to see how you react. We're going to see if you can't get some get right. Because this thing that's getting ready to hit, it, it, as far as economics go down here, uh, uh, the finances and all that stuff, how these stores are running out of, listen, these stores are running out so quick. We're going to see if you get some get right. We're going to see if you get some. We're going to see if you got time to be on police cars twerking and all that when this thing hit. Because it's getting ready to hit. I want to see how y'all respond. I want to see how y'all respond because y'all so busy out twerking, jumping around on vehicles and all that stuff. You're missing a good show that's right in front of you. And as soon as you take your head out the sand, your ostriches, as soon as you come down out the trees, your monkeys, wait until you see how things going to be here in this country in about... 60 days and that joint gonna last for about 10 months to 12 10 to 12 months i'm i'm telling you now i'm right there on the front lines i'm seeing it every day i want to see how you respond i want to see if you're up there twerking and running around here acting a fool in a minute i i, I, I want to see i talk to my wife about it all the time i want to see but I'm, I'm a digress man i'm gonna leave that alone i just want to share this with you once again show you how uh black women if, if not if not maintained, if not uh, uh, set in a place where she has a man over her, that everything she sees, the, uh, uh, she wants to sink herself into these places, pits of depravity as far as she can get. And every time she sees somebody do something and they are able to get away with it, they go right behind it and emulate it. Monkey see, monkey do. There go the monkey right there. Monkey see, monkey do. And this is why the Taliban did what they did. And this is what needs to happen with these women. But man, I digress, man. And like I always say, man, Hebron Ben Malal, come back at you. Another this and this boom. Log is just giving great wisdom to you boomers, man, because you're looking and you understand. And for you millennials, that's what you're doing. Enjoy. You got a couple more, man.